Hey, it's Sherry. I'm so glad you decided to watch my channel today. And I think you'll be glad too, because this video is jam-packed full of ideas. First, I'm going to give you some tips on decorating a mantle or a buffet, a bookcase, any large surface. And then I'm going to share 20 super budget-friendly ideas for adding autumn decor to any room of your house. And finally, I'm going to give a little home tour to show off all my autumn decor. So I hope you'll stick around until the end. Well, we've got a lot to get through, so let's get started. I thought I'd show you my foyer before I start decorating for autumn so that you get the before and after effect. Please ignore the unfinished stairs. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them. Nearly everything in my foyer came from the thrift store. The chandelier, the bench, the shelf, both mirrors, the chinoiserie pot, the bookcase, and almost everything inside the bookcase. I wanted to decorate my foyer in traditional warm autumn colors, so I began by removing most of my white decor. I found what I believe is the back to a bench along the curb on trash day in my neighborhood, and I brought it home thinking it would be the perfect backdrop for an autumn display. Aged brass blends so nicely with autumn colors. I found this brass pedestal bowl for under $3 at Goodwill and decided to fill it with some inexpensive potpourri. When filling large bowls, scrunch up some plastic grocery store sacks in the bottom so that you don't need as much potpourri. I also add pine cones from my yard to make the potpourri go farther. Dress up your bowl of potpourri by adding a string of beads, a velvet pumpkin from Dollar Tree, some pip berries, or even a little bit of fake greenery. This brass bowl and all of its contents cost me less than $10. I think a collection of amber glass bottles looks especially lovely in the fall. Mine came mostly from thrift stores, but I did purchase one for under $4 at Hobby Lobby. They also had two larger sizes available. I like to add books when I'm creating large displays because they're cheap and they add interesting texture. In my opinion, candles are a perfect addition to any fall or winter display. Even if you never light them, there's something about a candle that adds so much warmth. I like to layer the background of a bookshelf or a mantle with architectural salvage and art. I started by trying this sign that I made last year. But then, on a trip to Goodwill, I couldn't believe my luck. I found this beautiful oil painting for just over $3, and it was perfect. I love the colors in this painting. I especially love the red roof, which makes my red berries pop. Because dried flowers are so popular right now, they're very easy to find. I've even found some very nice ones at Dollar Tree. I bought a huge bunch of dried wheat at Home Goods for only $7.99. And I came across these Pootka pods at Goodwill for only 99 cents, but I'm sure you can find them cheaply at any craft store. I also found these dried silver dollar stems at a thrift store. To take your arrangement to the next level, when you are finished with the large pieces, add some fake floral greenery into a couple empty spots. Berries look especially nice in the fall. I bought a large branch at Hobby Lobby, which I ripped apart and used the separate stems in several different places. 
Now I want to share with you 20 different budget-friendly ideas for adding autumn decor to any area of your home. For my first idea, take some glass jars or vases and fill them with things that you already have that come in autumn colors. Things like acorns or beads or wood slices or even some candy corn. Look through your books and see if you can find some that come in autumn colors. These look great grouped together on a bookshelf or on a tabletop. Make use of your old plastic pumpkins by creating a pretty display in an old wooden crate or a large basket. I put a big bath towel down in the bottom of my crate to fill up most of the space and then covered it with a little burlap so that you wouldn't see it. Then I added my plastic pumpkins, some Dollar Tree flowers, a couple more stems from that Hobby Lobby branch, and a throw blanket that I got for $1.99 at the thrift store. If you have an old thermos or can find one at the thrift store, it makes a great vase for autumn stems. You can even add a few mini pumpkins to the thermos lid. I see metal leaf art at my thrift store all the time for just a couple dollars. I liked the black paint on this piece, but you could easily spray paint it any color to go with your decor. I made this wreath last year by spray painting some random leaf stems I had and sticking them in a grapevine wreath. I decided to make a bow to dress it up this year. Cut a long piece of florist wire and then make a large loop with your ribbon. Pinch the top where the ribbon overlaps itself. And then, working with the ribbon still attached to the roll, twist it so that the pretty side faces out. And then form your first loop. Add the end of the loop into the area that you are pinching. And then... Twist the ribbon again so the pretty side is out and make your second loop. Continue in this manner creating as many loops as you like. An odd number of loops usually looks best. Make your last loop smaller than the others. This will be your center. Wrap your piece of wire around the center of the bow where you've been pinching and twist it tight. Cut the piece of ribbon that is still attached to the roll close to your wire. Fluff your bow and then cut the large loop in half. It will become your tails. Use the ends of the wire to attach the bow to your wreath or to whatever you want to add a bow to. I made a second bow with a little bit of orange ribbon that I had left to add a little punch of color to my metallic wreath, and then I attached the wreath to my metal leaf decor. I already had a bench in my foyer, but I wanted something that looked more rustic, and so I decided to use this outdoor bench instead. I knew that no one would actually sit on this bench, so I decided to create another display in my foyer by stacking up some thrifted baskets and suitcases that I found. How cute are these two red plaid suitcases? And I got them both for under $5. I played around with the arrangements and I ended up putting an old toolbox on top of the suitcase. There is nothing new in this arrangement except for the berry stem from that same Hobby Lobby branch. Most of us probably have an old strand of garland laying around somewhere. Well, instead of just throwing it up on the mantle, try something different this year. Find something that you can drape or wrap the garland around. Do you already have too many wreaths? Well, here's an idea. Instead of buying a new wreath this year, Try repurposing a wreath you already have. 
Remove any florals or other elements that seem too summery to you. Then add some leaves, plants, or floral elements in autumn colors. I bought one branch of brown leaves at 40% off at Hobby Lobby, which was way cheaper than buying a new wreath. You can extend this idea to old candle rings as well. I had a pair of scraggly old cotton ball candle rings that definitely needed some sprucing up. I just cut up a little greenery from Dollar Tree into small pieces, which I then attached to the candle rings with small pieces of florist wire. I think they add just the perfect amount of texture and color to these candle stands made from old architectural pillars. To clean dusty fake plants, I use silk plant cleaner that I buy at Walmart. You simply spray it on and when it dries, the plant is clean. If it's really dusty, it may take a second spraying. To change up your summer plants, add dried flowers from your yard. Hydrangeas are super easy to dry out, and they look great year-round. Hobby Lobby also sells reasonably priced dried flowers in the back row of their floral department. You're probably already doing this, but just in case you're not, putting little miniature pumpkins around your house in different spots is a fun way to add autumn spice to every room. I especially like putting a few inside my bird nests and in small containers in my kitchen. Pine cones are by far my number one go-to decor item for both fall and winter. In fact, one of the reasons that I love them so much is because you can leave them out from the beginning of fall through late winter. For an unexpected look, I decided to wire some small pine cones to a few branches that I threw in an old lantern that I gutted. For Christmas time, I'll probably throw in some fake snow and a few red berries. Speaking of berries, you can never have enough of those cute little pip berries, and you can find them at Dollar Tree if you're lucky. I painted some ceramic Dollar Tree pumpkins with some matte white spray paint and added some pip berries for a simple but elegant look. I also added some pip berries to things that I already had on my tiered trays. It's so much easier than changing everything out. We've all seen the birch log bundles used as home decor the past few years. Well, why not change it up and use spindles from your wood stash instead? You might remember from a previous video, these small spindles were from a magazine rack I took apart. I like to change up the towels in my guest bathroom, but I have a really hard time finding any seasonal bath towels that I like, so I just use kitchen towels instead. To add some extra ambiance to your home, especially at night, mix in some fairy lights in your displays. I just threw in a cheap string of lights with my pine cones, and I think it couldn't look cuter. And my last idea is to change out a few pillows or throw blankets. You could make a pillow from an old flannel shirt or sweater, or do like I did and turn a piece of needlepoint artwork into a cute little sunflower pillow.
Well, I hope I was able to give you some new ideas today, and I'd love to know which ones you're going to try in your own home. Thanks so much for watching. Until next Tuesday, bye-bye for now.